Hello and welcome to this video modeling by example travel request. So we are going to create in this videos and also in the upcoming videos a sample application which is about the travel request. That video is meant to learn the concepts about Flowable and uh, create your first application just with a really simple use case how you can request a travel. Therefore, I already have a Flowable work installation that includes my Flowable design where I'm signed in here. That includes Flowable work. Here I'm signed in as well. And then we have, uh, last but not least, also Flowable control in here uh, where you also need to sign in. For all of those applications, you can use the username admin and the password test. To get started, you can be in a workspace of your choice. I'm here in the default workspace and you can um, press the create button in here to create your first application. That application I am going to call travel request. We have the name and the key over here. We specify the palette type. Optionally, we can specify a description, an app to request travel and we can give it tags as well. Now, when you would like to learn more about those basic fields, then I also recommend to check out the Hello World application. Within the app, and you can see that you are inside the app since the app is uh, here at the top, you can just create, create to create a new model inside the app. So we are going to start with creating a new case and that case is going to be named travel request as well. Uh, we are selecting here automatically the palette. We can give text and description as well. I am going to skip that and just say create. Now it's loading our global design editor in which we can go ahead and model our first travel request. To get started, uh, we can just select the case plan model and then here on the right side in the general section, we have a start form. The start form is helpful to capture some data at the beginning of our case. So that is what we are now going to do. We define which data uh, we are going to need. So let's call that travel request start form. And inside this form, where you first need to press create to create it and then you can check here open for editing on finish um, we can now go ahead and add certain fields. I'm going to create a panel first. That panel is a placeholder where we can put multiple items in there. I'm going to skip the label for that panel. It's just my container for the travel request itself. Then I'm going to add a first text field inside my uh, panel, which I am going to call uh, travel subject. This field uh, is going to be mandatory. So when you click on the check over here, you can specify different validations. Below that there is required, for example. So we can say required is true for this field travel request or travel subject actually. So let's create the next field, maybe a multi-line text for um, travel notes. So some notes which we can specify where we can give parameters and so on. Then another field travel or just origin. And we also would like to know then the destination both of those fields should be actually mandatory. So let's make them required. And the same for the origin. That should be actually required. Now we also would like to know when you are going to travel. So therefore I am adding two date fields. That's the outward trip date. And then also a second date field the return trip date and we are going to add validations for those as well. So we say it is required. The minimum day is basically zero days from now. So that's basically earliest today 
and the return trip date is going to be required as well. And here we would like to say that this date should be basically after our um, initial uh, um, outward trip date. So with that we can say that should be an expression and we are specifying here an um, uh, expression which is referencing the other field. So that you can basically take uh, from here. So in here we have the value outward trip date and that value is actually then what you can specify in here for the other field as a minimum date. And with that we make that the return trip date needs to be after the outward trip date. There are two things which we still can uh, go ahead and do. The first thing is we can uh, specify our outcomes. So with that we can say um, that we have a new button here, create a travel request as our button. And that is then basically when a user completes rather than a generic start button, they are going to see uh, this. Then we can also go ahead and uh, specify here the dialog title. So let's just call this travel request and that's the title which we are going to see. In case you would like to make it a little bit more fancy for fields like the label and so on, so everything which is human readable, you can also specify then different languages or a language key uh, in here. Now let's finish that. With that our form is uh, done basically until this point and we can continue with our case. In our case we would like to have three different stages. The first stage is going to be define travel data. The second stage is going to be then after the first stage uh, approve travel. And the last stage is going to be organized travel. Now we can save all of that and then uh, you have that cloud symbol here to publish it. And with publishing it we can send it to our global work installation. Now when you use your local enterprise trial uh, you might need to go to global work and there you have design workspaces and from here you can pull the actual uh, app then rather than pushing it. Now let's start our travel request therefore we can go to new which is at the top left then work and then we can select travel request and in here we see now our form which we just created and I'm going to create a travel to uh, Paris and um, this is for an important customer meeting. Origin is Zurich, destination is Paris. I would like to travel and I can travel basically in the past. I need to travel in the future. I would like to travel next week from Monday to Friday. And we can also not select here for the return trip date something which is before actually our outward trip date. And then we can create a travel request and we are going to see that this request directly completes since there's nothing left to do in here. Now as a next step what we can go ahead and do is basically we can uh, say that defined travel data must happen before the approved travel therefore I can take a sentry. A sentry is basically our way in CMMN to control the sequence flow and just move that um, from defined travel data to approved travel. You need to wait until the approved travel has this green border to be sure basically that it is attached then you can let it go. Same you are going to do with that diamond over here. Drag and drop it to the organized travel stage. Now 
to give those stages a little bit more purpose, we can start modeling them out, for example, with the defined travel data. In that one, I am going to add a, a human task. That human task basically is modify travel data. And let me correct my typo. And in here, we can link a form again. So that's now our modify travel data form. And I say create here, open for editing. And there we go. And here I could say I have a simple text display. And uh, we are writing in here for that text display and our value. Please change the travel details below. Let's make travel details bold, for example. And then we can include our previous form directly below it. So we can say we have a subform in here, and that subform here has a form reference to an existing form. So we would like to link it to an existing form, and that's our travel request start form. So let's link those. And uh, we are now uh, removing from here as well the label, since we don't uh, require that. And with that, we have a task, which is basically uh, in here. This specific task we would like to do only manually so the user already filled it out earlier so maybe um, it is um, not needed to do that task that's why we say manual activation but probably uh, we also would like to do it multiple times so we check in here that we would like to have repetition. So with that we can execute that task not only once we can also execute it multiple times. I'm going to save all of it and then publish it again. And uh, we are now going to flow the work where we can re-execute our um, case. Let's just create a new travel request. And in here I'm saying travel to Paris. I have a really important customer meeting. Origin is Zurich, destination is Paris. We are traveling next week. And let's create that travel request. New now compared to before, we are here in the defined travel data stage and we are waiting basically for the next uh, tasks. Now, what we can do is we can press modify travel data in here that will open that new modified travel data task where we can see uh, that data which we have in here. And I could just replace here uh, Paris with Berlin and then complete this task. And with that, we have basically uh, everything in there. There's one thing which I still would like to do since we have an, uh, no possibility to see without modifying it what the current data is. So we can go ahead and select also a work form. So let's quickly create that work form, travel request uh, work form. We are creating it, we are opening it and we make something similar than what we have for our modify form. Um, so we say here, please find the travel details below. Travel details in bold. And we are using again the subform component in here to visualize the data. So we say that form reference we are linking to an existing in instance. And we say this is our uh, start form. We don't need to open that one for editing. And now we can go ahead and also say basically. Uh, here in the visibility, uh, that's the eyeball that enabled is false. And with that, it is a read-only form which we are having in here. Let's save that. And then we are saving everything else as well, actually, and publish it. And we try it out one last time. When we now go back to work, we can say new work. 
And then travel request. We travel to Paris again. From Zurich to Paris. And again next week. And once I complete that, I see now here when I click on work form, all the data I have entered before. What you might have realized also for that case over here is there's no way to come to the approved travel and the um, organized travel stage. And how you can achieve that, that is actually what we are going to check out in the next video. So stay tuned. See you.